안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I'm doing a makeup product first impression review for the first time in a really long time. I purchased the Huda, the new nude palette, blueberries. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Ziggy Ziggy. I haven't used this yet. I've only swatched some of the colors, <laughs> but I'm going to try it today and let you know what I think. It's been a while since I've tried. Mommy, mommy, I'm coming. You're silly. <laughs> New eyeshadow formula, so I'm really excited because when I swatched them, they were very creamy, they were very pigmented, and the shades were really pretty, so. Oh, so sprinkler. It's sprinkler? Yeah. Is it pretty? Yeah. He thinks it's pretty. I've actually got my whole... <laughs> he thinks it's hilarious. Just so that I, you know, give this palette the best opportunity that it has for this reaction review. It does come with a concealer type thing. I would prefer to call this a base because she did say that it's not really meant to be a concealer for the face. It's more so there for you to use with the eyeshadows. So I wouldn't have called it a concealer. I would have called it like eyeshadow base or cream base or something. Using the term concealer can be confusing because you use concealer on the face to conceal things on the face, not to adhere eyeshadow on the eyes. I'm taking a rounded kind of kabuki brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this eyeshadow primer. And I'm gonna start from the base of my eye. She did say that this is meant for all skin tones because it literally is just used to adhere the eyeshadow to the eye. I do think it's a very smart move to include a primer to the eyeshadow palette so that it improves the pigmentation of your product. Nice and basified. I'm actually gonna take a angled fluffier version of the Kamal Kabuki brush and I'm gonna set the whole thing with bare. This will help prevent any blotching because if you go in with a color right away, it might adhere just to the sticky parts and then it might apply blotchily and not blend well. The base or your skin will definitely help provide a smooth canvas for the rest of the shadows to blend into. I'm going to go for the secret shade. I find it's very neutral mauve brown. I'm picking up the product with my whole brush. Ooh, I like the shade. Very soft texture, almost like satiny. It blends really well to the base. I'm going a little darker with raw, and I'm gonna try to put this on the outer V. And when I do place the product onto my brush, I wanna make sure that it's evenly coated <laughs> throughout the brush and not just a blob, or else when you go and try to blend it, then it'll blend blobbly. Let's try this one called Daydream. It has kind of a pinky sheen to it. I'm gonna pick this up with one side of the brush. Oh yeah, that's a lot more pigmented. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. I don't know if it's just iridescence or if there's actually like glitter particles in this as well. I'm gonna use that golden champagne though to highlight just the inner corners. I love the glitter flakes in this one. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm actually not gonna use any eyeliner for this look, but I will be using Love Bite as my eyeliner. Sometimes I do like a soft kind of shadow liner. Ooh, I really like this look. I kind of want to throw on a little bit of glitter as well. It's the one called Infatuated. Just tap it over. Like it sticks to the eye pretty well, even though it is a glitter without any glitter adhesive. Mind you, I'm not going all over the eye with the glitter. So if you wanted to do a full on glitter look, you'd need an adhesive medium, I think. Gonna do the rest of my makeup, zoom you out, and let you know my finishing thoughts. I'm not very current with the times. I also don't follow a lot of drama or information or new product releases or this and that. I just mainly stick to my professional makeup 
kit with products that I've tried over the years and truly trust. And I know sometimes there are like products or brands that are canceled for whatever unethical, ethical reasons. I don't know what that kind of stuff is for Huda Beauty, but the products that I use are definitely a level more pigmented and makeup artists would use potent products so that they can take the most amount that they can work with and dilute it from there. I think for a consumer product, this palette is really great. It's not too much pigment, but at the same time, it's enough that it does blend and show and perform well. I don't know, I feel like you can't really see from this lighting and this angle how the makeup really turned out. So I'm gonna insert some pictures that I'll take in natural light and up close of the makeup. I feel like it came out really nicely and overall I'm pretty impressed with the product. I usually don't encourage gossip, but if you have any information that you think would be helpful regarding the Huda Beauty product line or just Huda Beauty as a creator, I don't personally watch her YouTube channel, so I don't know much about her. If you have any information that you think will be helpful, definitely leave it down below. I'm not saying it'll be tea or anything, but just anything you think will be helpful, okay? <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That way we can see your genuine responses to the types of videos that we put out and we can narrow down more to the things that you enjoy. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified right when new videos come out. That's usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments. I do also post every day on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, so you can check these platforms out if these are platforms that you use. And that's it, so we'll see you next time. Bye.